Oh boy, chapter four! Who's ready for the visual novel? I know I am. Um, you know... Oh, wow. He has both his eyes. Oh, that doesn't look like Gojo, actually. Gojo. Goro? Yeah, Majima Goro. There he is! He has both his eyes! You got the stuff? Um, yeah. Okay, oh, guns. Wow, nice. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. Not a fake among them. Wow. And in Japan, of all things. Anyways. <laughs> um, I had a really fun time this week. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm recording this currently on Wednesday, uh, the 2nd of November, which is two days before it's supposed to go up, which I never liked doing, but I had almost no choice because my internet was out, like, all weekend and Monday. Ah, fun times. Freshly a priest from prison at a ramen shop? Well... Huh. The plan's problematic. What, is he meeting like a kid or something at the ramen ship? Minor? He is meeting a child. <laughs> what in the heck is he doing? Your three guns style. 10,000 bullets. <laughs> yes, me. Yes, I am. <laughs> what are we going to do? What is happening? I see. Well. Death warrant my eye. <laughs> Ooh. Anyways. So... Yeah, just completely no service or Wi-Fi in the entire apartment complex. Am I going to have to fight these fellas? Shibata. Oh, dang, they chained me up and everything. You know, I don't normally like being chained up, personally. Hey, that's like the worst way to lose your eye, too. That could have been like death if the guy didn't have good self-control. I'm assuming, of course, that your brain is behind your eyes. Maybe for some of you watching, that's not the case. <laughs> um, oh my gosh! He's- there he is! I have a freaking trading card of that guy. He looks like- oh my gosh, there's something up with that guy's face. I don't know how to describe it, but he looks like something. You know what it is? He looks like if the banker from Despicable Me was fully bald. That's what it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. He, he's 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 talking to he's talking to Majima, saying they're not going to be lending him any more money. Like, younger than you, hungrier than you, younger than you. Oh my gosh, look at that guy's eyebrows. His eyebrows are huge. Oh God, I got hold. Dang, man. Boss. You can't do this to me, boss. Won't kill me. I don't know. That thing that guy's holding looks like it might get me close at the very least. I'm not really liking the idea of the hole. That doesn't sound great. But, yeah. I don't know. I've been uh, pretty... I've been pretty bad on deadlines lately anyways, I guess, so... Yeah, I don't know if really making the video now instead of half a week ago really helps all that much because... Hey, at least my face isn't scarred. It's kind of interesting that it's not, honestly, because it looked like I had a huge gash down my cheek. Which is pretty cool, but... You know, I don't know if I could really renege or Renegade Masquerade, there we go, as a nightclub owner. 
with a big Yakuza-esque scar on my face. Since I am a Yakuza member in actuality. Well, I guess I haven't been let back in the family, unfortunately, but, you know, whatever. <sighs> Gotta get to work. Nothing else I can do right now. Let's go to work. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I also haven't made the thumbnail for the video that goes up um, yesterday. And by yesterday, I mean yesterday from time of upload and not yesterday from... Hey, give me some pocket tissues, baby. Oh yeah, you know we're gonna we're gonna need them. With what I, never mind. Okay. Oh, is this guy getting held up or something? Hey, hey, what's going on over here? I'm gonna intervene because I'm a good guy. <laughs> Get nice reflex, just looking at you. <laughs> Men in black. Not if I have anything to say about it. Check that shit out, man. I can just beat the heck out of a fella. Wow. How about I bash your skull in on the pavement? Or just in general. Just like hitting a guy over the head with a bat. That's all it takes. Seriously. <laughs> just pressing X twice and then Y and I hit a guy down. That's pretty great. Oh, he nice! A ruby plate! Slightly battered ruby plate. Oh, that was a three for him. That never happens. How many? Oh, I can sell it. Sick. I gotta find a pawn shop. I think I should save people more often. Just like that woman in the park. Names what? Oh, this guy's got a walking phone? Dude, what the heck? What the heck's he doing there? Chaha, <laughs> you wanted to hear about my shoulder bag phone? Uh, bag phone? Weird! Imagine having- Imagine carrying a telephone around with you. Who would believe that? Yeah, right. Next will be like... Having calls where you can see the other person. Anyways. Why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? <laughs> what the heck do you have there? Pardon? Oh, jeez. Pardon? Uh huh. I have a bag phone. Oh, no. Not a radio, my friend. A bag phone. It's all the rage now. Fully transportable mobile technology. Where's the cable line? You just plug it into the nearest ethernet cable and on you go. Yep. <laughs> this bad boy, you're chained to your home or office. Or you're not chained. You, yeah. You can call in from anywhere. You can be in touch with your friends at all times. I can call my mom right now. <laughs> Interesting that that's the first person you would want to call. Well, I guess it's not the worst first person you would want to call, but, you know. Guessing that cost you an arm and a leg. Like, yeah, it's, uh, it's very expensive, actually. But, you know, I'll stick to pay phones. <laughs> Weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah. Uh, very well, I shall let you use the cutting-edge technology of my bag phone. I mean, I want everyone to experience the future. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? I don't see what I don't see why not. You know. The future is right here, hanging off my shoulder. Get a taste of tomorrow, my friends. All right, why not? Eh? To dial tone. It just doesn't work straight up. What? Let's see. What's the problem here? The battery must have died. Oh, jeez. Well, that's new technology for you. A mere eight hours. Dang, what is it, a car? Jeez. Imagine an electric car. I had an electric car. I think I've talked about that before. Uh, it's pretty nice. I liked it. Torquey, all that jazz. Everything that comes with being an electric car. 
Uh, I, what I didn't like is the, the 50 mile leash and the very long charging time. And I definitely don't have enough money to get something that doesn't do that. Nor would I, because, I mean, I live in a place where it gets cold. <laughs> and you know what that means. Battery. You know. Uh, you'll buy me a battery? I think Don Quixote carries it. Pal, you see the eye patch, man? You're not at all wondering about why I might just, like, beat the ever-loving crap out of ya? Ugh. Whatever. What's it run off? Three triple A's or something? I'm gonna save my game. Ugh. Sheesh. Anyways. <sighs> now back to the important things. Into Le Grand. Le Grand. Whatever. Aha! Yes, I did in fact strike a deal. It's quite a surprise. Why didn't you tell me another girl was coming besides Nozomi? Uh, what now? What do you mean? Is there some other girl coming? Watch should be the Beast Girl. That'd be funny. That'd be hilarious if she worked at a cabaret club. When she should be working at a... Boxing club. A fight club, I guess. Would be, uh be the way you would say it. Anyways, yeah, that, that's a real look but don't touch club so she can just dislocate your arms with a solid yank, you know. <laughs> Beast style is super wacky to look at. I don't know how that crap's supposed to work, you know. It seems like you do more damage to yourself, but I guess that's the idea. Um... Human pain tolerance is quite something, but we still don't exactly love mm -hmm. the stinging feeling. <laughs> Cut out from work? Bruh. Grab drink! Dude, he hung up right at- Oh, no, no, he didn't actually say that. I'd rather down a hot mug of my own pants. <laughs> oh, little piss boy, would you like a nice warm glass of piss? Uh, everybody knows cold piss probably tastes better than warm piss. Cold things always have a mellower taste. As long as it's not spicy. If you have spicy piss, though, I suppose cold piss might be worse. The spiced piss, yeah. Like spiced apple cider, except it's a different kind of cider. And I don't know what the spice would be. Kidney stones? Ground up kidney stones and piss. That's my holiday beverage yeah no I don't have any kidney stones though so I guess I'll have to down a couple pallets of soda so that I can create my own spices and all that jazz yep very important I definitely needed to keep talking about this I gotta say um, I'm glad that uh, the absurdity is still within me somewhere because I honestly I don't know how to keep it industry interesting other than saying things like piss boy, you know, the age old. Dang, it's already evening, man. I guess that that's work for you. Jeez, you enter the office for like 20 seconds and suddenly it's dark outside. Well, I guess I better end the episode now instead of continuing to record for about 20 minutes and doing a side quest. Ha 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 ha. Yup. That's definitely what I'm doing right here. Anyways, on the next episode, dating a young woman and meeting her father. How to do it? That's right, we're doing it. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll beat your head in with a baseball bat. Yup, that'll happen. It'll totally happen exactly like that. Ha 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 ha. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.